The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. On this Tuesday, the 3rd of May, we're looking at the Dow at 10.06 a.m. Eastern Time. This is going to be really interesting because the Dow is up four. And you would expect on a day prior to a Fed speak day that there'd be some shakiness. And there is. But here's what's really interesting. If you look at the patterns that I, I love to discuss, and I'm going to do this now, I'll do this as we do all the analysis on, uh, as we're looking at, let me just get this, as we're getting the, um, the updates. Let me just do this. So uh, we've got so many new people here at uh, TFNN listening uh, from around the world and joining the Dan and here in the Tiger YouTube. I, I just basically what I'm looking at is uh, let me just see was that a message for me uh, i don't see the caller call her right away i'm not used to that let me go to the caller we've got uh, i'm going to go to the caller right now if i can just check this out yes we've got i'm going to say john in fully hi john how are you basil i'm doing very well thank you for taking this Early call. Sorry to it's disrupt really your cool. typical <laughs> no uh, format to start your program, but I, I wanted to ask you, please, about gold. Okay, let me just do this. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to, if you don't mind, just for the moment, I'm co I've got the <laughs> continuous contract up. I know that you like yeah. to look at specific months, but uh, let me as see. As, the, the as, as you're doing that, uh, let me just preface uh, our conversation by sharing this. Uh, gold, of course, made an uh, overnight low at uh, 1351, excuse me, 13, at the 1851, took out yesterday's 1853 low, rejected that, reversed out, up, uh, just as a very short-term trader that I, I always call that a potential bear trap to a bottom. Um, uh, full disclosure, gold topped back on, uh, what was it, Monday, April 18th, two weeks ago. It topped at 2003. That was an exact uh, FIB 618 test of a prior high. And uh, it was also a full moon weekend. So there was a lunar cycle there. And uh, it fell hard, 150 bucks. I, I confess I was wrong in um, thinking that type of decline was unlikely. But, it's, but it has occurred. So now going forward, we've had this $150 uh, drop, and we've had it going into FOMC time. I just will share with, uh, with you, Basil, and your listeners, over the past 30 years in trading COMEX futures, I have seen numerous occasions in which the gold price has dropped into and ahead of an FOMC meeting only to bottom and surge back higher, uh, regardless of what the, the FOMC actually did or said. So I've seen that before, so I'm always cognizant in thinking uh, about the present time of that happening here and now. So I'm not forecasting that, but I, I've seen that sort of thing. So with all that as background, I was doing some buy, uh, probe buying uh, three, four hours ago, and I've got a little bit of a lead. And if I have enough of a lead, I'll probably hold it through that meeting. But what I wanted to ask you, with all that background, Basil, your chart work, your tools, your indicators, can you see, can you envision uh, Comex Gold making an important bottom right here? So the... the the preamble that you've got towards the, the the end question, which is what happens next, I, I I like that very much. I'm just going to ask you, the gold, in a sense, has a little bit of a tradition of doing whatever the yields are suggesting, at least on a short term basis. There is some 
reciprocity. Sometimes it's a counterpoint, sometimes it's together. But I've also noticed that in looking at the bigger picture, if you were to overlay uh, the yields and you overlay gold, I I like to think of the, I, I call them Dolly, Vixie, Bondi, and Goldie. For the last six to eight months, I've said, let's try to separate these things. And I even included oily, which is crude oil. Even though in the main, the commodities have been in the uh, kind of on a trajectory together, I'm, I'm trying to think of all these things as little units that are themselves complete. And if they connect to anything else, that's fine. So I'm going to do the same thing here, because if you look at the gold chart, the most important thing for me, and I'm going to expand this weekly chart, that's the one in the middle right here now, it's the full page. You'll see it's got a beautiful cup formation, and it went from the high. I'm talking about the continuous contract, which is trading now within uh, within less than a dollar of the actual uh, um, contract itself. So we're looking at from the August high of 2020 and once again these are these prices get smoothed out so the pattern the names the letters lettering in the chapman wave everything is correct but the price because it gets smoothed out could be moved uh, a little bit so in this case i've got 21 18.3 maybe next month it'll change but that that is the price i've got now and if i go to the high that was made at peak e in the left side right side price time match to the bar that was right there, that was the bar of June 2021 at 1993 high, you get to this peak E that was made March of 2022. Now the fulfillment of a big cup formation, it's more like a bowl formation because it's flattish, says that if there is a price expansion above the previous left side high, and for three bars, doesn't matter whether you're talking daily, weekly, monthly, or two minute chart, if there is a price appreciation that holds on any pullback after sharply going above the left side high, that's a breakout of significance. If there is a pullback and it goes towards the middle of the, of the let's now call it a channel, even though it's a bull formation, you've got to be careful because you've now set up um, a situation where you've got to establish a new low. So that's the monthly chart. And all I'm saying is that, uh, sorry, that's the weekly chart. If you look at the weekly chart, to me, the most important thing is, is you can see there's a red trend line up and just above it, like less than a sixteenth of an inch is a, is a light green. And I call that a Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. And you can see how many times uh, when it pulled back on the uh, week of the 17th of uh, 17th of December 2021, it held it and it rallied to peak A, B, C, even the C pulled back and held it, and then it ran to D and E, and it went to just below that previous high of 20, of 2020. But now look what's happened. The MACD's turned down, the stochastic is very weak at 49%, and the nine period is within, I'd say, 15 points lower, and there's a good chance that the nine period moving average on the weekly chart will cross negative. So I'm going to give you the parameters I'm looking at, and then I'm going to discuss the exact the question that you asked. I will try to answer that. 1832 is absolutely, on a weekly basis, critical to hold. I'll be back in a moment. We've got John in fully, Dallas down 44, S2's up 7. We'll be right back looking at gold. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV, live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back, and John, I'm not sure if you are listening, uh, if you're still a uh, line cutter for me, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, I know that you usually like to go back to the tra your trading room and just to continue uh, doing there and listen to what we're saying. And, and a lot of people actually, funny enough, I, I even spoke to um, one of one of the one of the uh, really tremendous uh, uh, Fibonacci and uh, Elliott Wave people that I know that I've known for many years. He he joined TFNN years ago when he took my uh, my webinars. He was instrumental in in working with a lot of people. It's not his business. He's a, he's, he's does something completely different. In fact, he's been retired since he's it was f 50 years old, and he's now about 86, I think he is. Um, and uh, he he I, I spoke to him this morning, in fact, and uh, we were chatting. I wanted to see how he was doing. And he spoke about gold, and he's just he been an absolute uh, a master in, in his own trading, and he, and he trades gold a lot. So um, I, we both concurred that gold should have a tremendous rally coming up sometime, maybe even this summer. Um, but in the meantime, there's some shakiness. So let's just go through this. What we're looking at is within the daily, and because a number of people asked, I'll, I'll do this before I continue with all the different uh, aspects of the, of the market. Look at the way this 200 period moving average is like a magnet. This is the, this pinkish yellow, orange line right here. It's stuck. It made a sine wave move above it back in November all the way through the breakout in March. It just went up and over and in, under and over and over. And that whole area of 18, let's call it 1830, was basically your fulcrum to move up and down. And then it broke out to the upside. So the 200 period moving average, especially for gold over the years, I've noticed that it depends on what time frame you're looking at. But once it touches it, either on, look at this, on the on the way down, it just broke right through it back in uh, June of last year. And then it, it couldn't break above. Look how many times it went right to it and it failed. Fail, 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 fail. Even at a peak D in the Chapman wave. Remember the Chapman wave, you're always looking for four higher peaks. Peak D is your objective to go from a buy signal to a buy mode. At that point, anything can happen. And then there was this, I call it the double hump of the MACD where it went twice to the upside in a big arch formation, then went to peak F way above the 200 period. But what did it do? It came back and then it went over and under and over and under and over and under until it sp spiked to the 2083.30 level. Let's see if that's still the price. 2083.7 level back in uh, August, uh, not August. This is 
uh, March the 8th. And then what did it do? It made that A pattern, the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down, and it came tumbling down. And where did it go to? It didn't go anywhere. It just went sideways. You remember I said the dreaded H pattern? Well, I was going to do this before. John called. I'll do this right now. Three patterns I always look at. Straight line up. Let me just put it over here. Straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation. Simple. Three patterns. They can get a mix, one and two, or one and three. In this case, one and two. The dreaded H, when it takes out the left side low, watch out. It can go quite a bit lower. And the, the, the positive Y, reverse Y, when it takes out the left side high, it can go quite a bit higher. What do I always look for in the Chapman Wave? A buy signal goes to a buy mode, meaning it's going to go not just to peak A and B, but it's going to absolutely go to C and D. And D is where other things can happen. But it can also go E, F, and G, never an H. But D is our objective always, and then you have to do an analysis. All right, where are we? We went to a D, and then we went to an E at uh, 2883 back in Mar March. Pulls back and makes a single dreaded H, then a rather large one like an M-shaped pattern, and it breaks down. And what happens? All of a sudden, you've got you're at 18. 72 and that 200 period moving average has to become a propellant otherwise it's like a, the longer we stay close this is now uh three out of four sessions have been really close to the 200 period moving average until gold can not just uh, um, pop up for one session until gold can actually move above the pink nine nine period moving average, which is negative because it's under the 14 period moving average, it needs to be green to be positive. Until it can close two out of three sessions above 1917, and it's at 1872, 56 or 60 points in, in gold is, is an easy thing to do, but it doesn't do it often. But when it does, it's very significant. And now what we're looking at is those two big ugly candles uh, yesterday and then about seven sessions ago, six sessions ago, that's the weight of selling. And the stochastic is trying to turn up. It's a 17%. That's that's quite good. On balance volume is good. The relative strength, the little gray line there, is very negative at about 41%. And the MACD histogram is still very negative. So as I look at it, I can look at all the signals, but it's actually the price that's going to tell me whether or not there is substantial Upside. Now, I love to put gold together with the GDX because the GDX is the gold miners. And what we've seen over the years, a lot of the time when gold miners start to move, even before gold, gold will play catch up. But the gold miners can have a fantastic rally. But you, once again, I was speaking to uh, John about the volatility index, the oil index, the gold index. The uh, bond X, that's bondy, bond, bond, bonds, and dolly, the dollar. And the dollar right now, DXY, is up. Uh, it's down today, at, down 40 cents, but it's up at 103s, um, testing for four sessions, the whole area of 103 to 104 um, at new recovery highs. Hasn't gone above the major high that we've been looking at. Why did I put that in there? It's the wrong place. Uh, the major high of 103.82, oh, wait a minute, it did, 103, 103.93, oh my, I didn't even see that, it took out the January of 2017 high, and this means that this potential could be a triple top or a breakout, you need three months of two closes well above the 103.82, let's call it 104 level, to be able to establish that this leg C is going to very quickly pull back at some point and then go to a D even higher towards the 105s or higher. So and I'm talking about the dollar. Why? Because there's a relationship and sometimes it's an, a, a direct inverse relationship as the dollar moves higher, gold moves back. But for the last, boy, this is a, a quite a long period that we've seen that I usually say that the dollar and gold can move in the same trajectory, not the same percentage gains or anything, but the same directional move, maybe four to six weeks, maybe twice, maybe three times to, throughout the entire year. Most of the time, one's going and the other's going in the opposite direction. So that's another thing. So if the, the dollar pulls back and closes any week, it's in leg F at this particular point in the daily, in the weekly chart. At any point, if the dollar closes under, it could, just has to do it once, closes under 102, that would be a, a signal to say, 
the gold should take that opportunity to move counterpoints. And now uh, the question was tomorrow, whatever the Fed does, do you think that gold is pre precipitating the move down? And as it has done en and often enough, it actually turns around and after the Fed speak, gold actually moves higher. So let me go back to the GDX because the GDX is the miners. And I would use the miners as this particular point more as, as, as a benchmark. And all I can say is that Remember, I spoke about that gap. We had a whole big discussion about, I think it was Thursday or so. And I said, gold has to, the GDX has to fill the gap. It can't just go into the gap above 34.88 of the 25th of April. It actually has to start closing above the low of the 22nd of 36.71 for me to say, you know what? Now we've seen a pretty significant turn in the GDX and probably gold. I'll be back in a If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, so let me just show you this, folks. Uh, so what I like to do, so I, either I am trading it or I'm, I'm analyzing it always because this is how I keep my craft uh, in, in places. Uh, I play tennis, so you also practice. You know, you practice. I'm, I'm a musician. I also practice those instruments. You've got to keep practicing if you want to be able to uh, at least keep your wits about you, be able to put all your techniques into play. He has this cup formation I made. Remember, peak D is the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we just made the peak D in the one-minute chart, pull back to the 41.45 level, and now we've run up and we've retested that high uh, from six, uh, six minutes past 10, AM 4168.25. We just went to that in a leg C. This is the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. It got repelled from that. We're watching it and it says by 1035, that's about another five minutes or so, there should be a move that 
tests once again the uh, 40, what did I say it was? 41.64 high that was met. No, it's 41.68.25 high of six minutes past 10. We'll see if that's going to happen. And there's a peak D in the 10-minute in the chart. And in this particular case, I drew the same pattern. Uh, so this little double top that we're looking at right now did everything that it needs to do. Uh, to get to the left side, right side price time match. I've got a second one right here in the 10 minute chart. And I'm just showing you some of these techniques that I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. The same techniques apply right here. So let me just show you a couple of other things. So we're going to go back to the different uh, different charts. You see this cup formation in the GDX that broke and, and, and held one, one bar the next bar it went above the high that was made at that peak C high of May the 21st, 2021, at 40.13. We did that uh, three weeks ago, and it couldn't hold, and it pulled back sharply. So this is what I'm looking at. The MACD has crossed, but it hasn't I pulled back, but it hasn't crossed negative. So the histogram is still positive. The stochastic is down at 69%, so it's a little bit negative, not a big deal. On balance volume is good, but the 9 is still way above the 14, and that's a good sign. So that's the GDX. But here's the thing. That's the opposite. This is the cup formation where I like to measure the left side to the right side. Look at this. This is the daily chart of the GDX. And what did it do? It went um, to the, just about just under the 42 level, 41.61, and pulled back from a peak E. It came straight down, hit the 200 period moving average three times, uh, bounced up, pulled back, gapped down yesterday, and now there's a green bar on the nine, and that's why this little cluster formation here, I'm going to draw it as a, as a, as a circle, but that's not my Chapman Wave instant restart. That is just to point it out uh, visually and say this is really important because if there is a close above, on the GDX that is, a close above 40, sorry, 1609, a close, it can't just go above, it's, it's a close. This is an A minus failure because it broke down and made a lower low. That'll become a gray A. And you have to wait all the way for the stochastic to really improve a great deal for the on-balance volume histograms to improve, and they're still very weak. For the on-balance on -balance, uh, on itself, um, it's still weak. You would have to, to be able to generate a GDX gold miners buy signal, not even a buy mode, but a buy signal, I would need to see a lot happen. I'd have to see trades going into that gap and then closing above it. So the day's young. Uh, we've got more than 24 hours to go before the Fed comes up with the, with the minutes. We might even kind of get a feel for it beforehand. My, my gut feeling is saying that now, look, there was a, a, an arch formation, a little bumpy one, but an arch formation. And this low that was made in the GDX on the 25th of Feb at 33.46, uh, the day before that was 33.43. Yesterday, we went down to 30, 33.72. 33.72. We did not take that out. So that's the left side, right side. Uh, if I do a vertical test, so far, the technicals were way superior there. They're much weaker here. So if I do a test, it says, wow, um, Price has to be the arbiter of the trend because it's not the technicals right now. So, yeah, great session today, up 69 cents. And now let's go to the uh, GDX, GDX, um, X, XAU. That's, that's the gold and silver uh, ETF. Well, I, have, I did update it, but I lost the data because it closed, shut down without saving one day. So let me just put this. This went to a D, and then it went to an E. And you can see that, and that became a sell signal to a sell mode. So the daily is in a sell mode. It's almost the same thing that we're looking at here. This is not. This is a gray A. It'll stay a gray A until a lot of things happen. So all I'm saying is, you're anticipating, not based on my work. Um, I would say it would be, if I was going along right now. 
gold or in the GDX, I would treat it just as a starter position saying it's my anticipation. I don't have anything technically. I do on the 120-minute chart. I don't remember which one I was looking at. But the 120-minute chart did make a much nicer a left side, right side vertical test, much better technicals. So the XAU is saying yes. Um, based on that, I see no reason why not to take a small position and a starter position. But I don't see it as technical. Now, the, the question itself begs to say, what about Thursday? I'll just make it simple. If on Thursday's close, the XAU, oh, let's just go back. Most people don't use the XAU. Let's just go to the GDX. If the GDX tests 3587 and then goes above it, if it can close at 3620 or more, I suggest to you that we've probably made at least a short-term low, and that's why you can move a little higher. Uh, G and, and it's on a closing basis on Thursday. I don't want to see intraday. I want to see on the close. And the GDX gold is now up 11 at 1874, above the 200-period moving average. That, again, on the 120-minute uh, chart, I'd say I would definitely say a starter position, but that's all because it's made lower lows and lower highs. I, I don't like that. It's a lot of proving to do. Wow, we spent a lot of time on this, but I think it's worth it because I had so many questions. So, yes, start a position, fairly tight stop. If you're using the GDX at 35.23, if you're in in the high 34s, low 35 area, I, I would put us, I'd have a stop. Uh, today's low is 34.68. That's 60 cents. 22. Yeah, I, I, I'd do that. I'd have a stop at about uh, 34.60 and just let it be a trading stop. Aha. Now what we want, need to do is this. I want you to show you. Uh, I'll do the indices. I'll do all my stuff like I do my preamble. You see this arch formation? Remember we spoke about the arch formation? I said it's one of the patterns that we look at. There it is, the arch formation. What I like to do is if it does go to a D or an E, I like to suggest that it could pull back sharply, but it's probably not going to initially go much lower than the left side low. Well, 32578 was one of the left side lows, and 32,272 was the low in February. Where did it go to yesterday? 32,449 in the Dow, just under that left side low, and it did this price. Look, look at the left side from, the, from that March 24th low up to the high of 35,372. I drew a vertical line, and I made a left side, right side price time match and I said the other day that this was very weak. The rally to 35,492 that Thursday that I was away. Um, look what happened. It was much weaker. Now we've pulled back. And this, we did it to the day and we held above the exact time price match. So this is, there's a chance right now that there could be a bit of a rally. I'll be back in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I'm going to just take this uh, to do a real quick wrap up because there's so many things I want to talk about. The QQQs. Are down a dollar thirty at three seventeen point twenty seven. There are signs that it is attempting to establish a low of at least bounce proportions. But that says the bounce is a big deal. It goes to three twenty three and then maybe three twenty seven. That's the fourteen period exponential moving average, and this sort of turns around and comes back down. So whatever happens with the Fed, it's price that is is important because the left side, right side match that we're looking at in the QQQ weekly chart has the low from March and the bounce and then the low that we established yesterday, um, the technicals are still very weak. So this would be more a kind of a, a tradable, a near-term trader's uh, way of looking at things. And that's kind of what I'm doing for subscribers right now. We've got positions that are real. Um, they're using the technicals to say, hey, something was done, something was established, and now you can use it to trade in such and such a way. If you're looking at the dollar, we've spent time on gold. I haven't done silver yet. Look, the dollar's holding very well, but these sideways rectangle formations very often lead to a sudden slide to the downside, rather even a move up. The longer we go sideways, any move up means you've established the magnet, or in this case of 103 to 10270. It's kind of the magnet for the dollar for the dollar. And that's the reason why I'm saying let's look at the EUR USD, that's the Euro dollar currency pair. Four sessions is trying to establish some kind of a low. This cluster formation needs to within actually in this case, within by Thursday, there has to be a move in the uh, euro not from 1.054 where it's at right now, it really has to be closer to 1.061. It has to get back to this, remember the left side, right side, price time match years it took from, uh, this is the weekly chart from 1.063. I should have put a date. I don't know why I never did that. The date, everything's the same. The price gets smoothed out. So this is uh, 106378 is the next day. So, when I, there we go. So, 327.20. Let me just type that in now because then I've got it done. Three. Why am I doing that? Because I've got my silent mouse, and my silent mouse can sometimes lead to crazy things, but that's okay. So, the, the lower, the week of 27th of March runs to the April 1st week plumb line. And then you've got an exact match, and it takes it takes two more weeks, and it breaks underneath that left side low in a beautiful arch formation. But the technicals are still weak, except now the stochastic's flattening out at seven percent, and you've broken down. You've gone to a low uh, of oh, I hate this because it's so many digits. Let's call it one point. It's one point oh four seven one six. And now you're trading at 1.0545. So what we're looking at here is that the euro, the USD, JPY, uh, the um, this is the yen, 
has gone to a leg F, stalled at the top, just like the dollar goes in the same direction as the dollar, not the same proportion, but the same direction. The MACD is so strong, the stochastic's flat at 94%. And let's just see what the MACD and the stochastic in the weekly chart is. Fabulous, 94%. Let's look at the Euro, EUR, USD. It's down, what did I say, 7%? Yep, 7% and sort of flattening out. The, the, at this particular point, the dollar and the uh, yen still have the predominance of being in uptrends just at this particular point. It's staying, even though it's holding with the flattening sideways. And the uh, euro weekly is underneath. This is the second week now. It's underneath the 1.063 low of 27th of uh, March. Now, let's go to silver. I never did that. Silver weekly chart keeps going from a cup to an arch to a cup to an arch. Look at this. And now we've got the arch formation and the nine period moving average. Well, the week is young. It's only an hour, a quarter into the into the second day of this week. But so far, S says that it's the nine has just slipped underneath the 14. But we have to wait for Friday to confirm. But look at this. It's just attempting. I have to tell you, I see bounces, but I don't see the big move yet in gold or silver. I think that has to wait. I've got a feeling we're talking about maybe June. Uh, June could see, I mean, when I'm talking about the big move, I mean the trend change, the tide is now turned so that it can start to move in much greater degrees to the upside. This is the way I'm looking at it. Crude oil, look, let's look at crude oil, look at this. Crude oil's gone sideways in the rectangle formation, continues in this rect a rectangle formation, can last a lot longer than your patience or your money. And in this particular case, it's just stuck. It's at 104.10. Um, if it closes above, even closing above 110 says it's still in the rectangle formation. But if it goes above 110, the stochastic could go over 80 percent. And they'd say, whoa, you've got enough strength now to try to get towards the high that was made back on the 24th of March of 116.07. Not the 129.15 7th of March high. Uh, now that's 120.50. See how things get smooth? 128.60. So that gets changed. The number, that's the only thing that gets changed because it gets smoothed out, 8.60. That's why I'm always saying notation, chart formation, everything else is exactly the same, perfect, but not the, not the price because it gets smoothed out. So crude oil is still at a high level consolidation. Now this is going to be very important. We'll go to the TLT. But we'll type it so that we can get the chart rather than type it on the wrong. There we go. TLT. So in this particular instance, if you're talking about the Fed, um, what we're looking at, look at this monthly chart. Look at the dreaded H pattern. First, there was one here, and it failed in more than one to one from the high, uh, the 179.70 high of March of 2020, pulls back to 153 uh, ish uh, June of 2020, bounces up to a peak A at 172.25, and then makes the H pattern and fails. It goes more than one to one to 133.19. Then it goes peak A, peak B, and another dreaded H. That's the second. And now it's saying that either we get a sideways pattern or there's going to be, and let me just put this in, in leg E to the downside in the weekly chart. And let me show you the weekly chart because of the pattern. Look at this. Look at this. The sideways pattern consolidates for ages and breaks from 172 down and breaks the 153 support, plunges to 133, then uses the 152, 155 resistance area, double top. Pulls back in an A pattern, straight, Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. Doesn't look like it now, but it did at the time. And look what's happened. Yields have risen because the TLT is on a weekly basis. The stochastic's at 4% and flat. That's like being at 96% and flat, and that's usually extremely positive. The longer you can stay in the 90s, the more positive it is for whatever tradable you're looking at. In this case, the longer you stay in the 4% or 6% area, underneath uh, the 10% level, ha! Huh, the longer you can, the longer this can be, it weakens. It just stays weak. So when I'm looking at this, I'm saying, oh, I'll, I'll do that. I had a question about it. Uh, could, could you look at your triple yield chart? I'll do that. I was going to do some other things, and it's important that I do those other things. But yes, here's my triple um, yield chart. White is the TYX 30-year T bond yield. The T the TNX is the brown. 
a 10 year yield and the cyan is the um, the the five year and look what's happened we've just gone to a higher high look at this unbelievable we've gone to a leg e in oh it's more than e yeah an e in the daily chart of the uh, triple yield chart and look how the timber and forestry etf has held steady in certain factors the hgx the foot of the housing index i'll talk about that when i get back Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, I just had a question about deer. So this, you see this, this, these one, two, three, four, five, seven, six bars. This is the low that was made right here at uh, on the 25th of 372.19, retested at 371.60 yesterday. This is a little different into the gap down that we saw in the GDX and the GDX Junior because it's attempted to get to the to the gap. So Deer is saying, I've used the 200-period moving average for seven, eight sessions, actually, seven sessions, to try to you treat it as a springboard. But the stochastic at 13% and flat is not that great. So it's price that's going to have to get everything to move higher. But this is a, a, a better-looking uh, cluster formation that has a spring-like coil to the upside. If for any reason, by tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, if Deer is, is responding, say, positively to whatever the Fed says, and it starts to move as a 387, if it starts to trade at 394, that's going to be a good sign. And therefore, that's why I'm saying the GDX has a lot of work to do because it needs it's a different pattern. It failed. And now it's a great, great two candles, but it needs a lot more work, and it needs to power in a V-shaped formation into the 36, uh, 36, 30s or 50s. So it's at 35.25 right now. So a couple of things as we are about to wrap up in the final segment. Don't forget Larry Presavento's uh, all-day uh, trading webinars. It'll be up on TFNN 
Uh, check it out. It's coming up, uh, I think, Wednesday a week or something like that. Uh, it, wow. Should it be? A, what a time for something like this. And, of course, Larry's an expert at doing those sessions. So now let's look at this. Uh, what, what do I want? The VIX index right now, the VIX index is down $1.17 and 31.17. Based on the leg D, and remember, I, I, use, I don't like the, the use the um, – because it's an emotional response. I don't use the Chapman Wave methodology, but it has been in, in working for a little while. So this is a leg D, a possible peak D. If tomorrow at 3.15 to 3.45, the VIX index, instead of being up in the 33.60 area, is actually down in the 29s, and the general market is responding, at least going into the close positively, this VIX index could, in fact, decline to the 26-23 level over the following uh, five sessions. And that'll be what you're looking for, for at least a tradable good bounce in the end Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry. Check out both the Gormodate newsletter. We've got